Hey gang, this is Bo with an update on the uh, 6x14 cargo trailer conversion Roaring Thunder. Uh, it's a really nice day here today in Colorado, a little windy. Uh, I wanted to work on the fantastic fan so I can start doing the wiring, but the uh, lap sealant didn't uh, come today. It was supposed to, but it got hung up somewhere probably in the Midwest because of uh, weather. So uh, the other day I did put a coat of uh, polyurethane on the walls and the floor and I may put another one on the walls. The floor is going to have a one piece vinyl and uh, so today I was getting a little antsy so I thought what can I do and so I thought well I'll install the blinds. So I got these level lore blinds. You can get these at uh, Lowe's, they're pretty inexpensive. They mount really easy. I mean, I think one of them is like 10 bucks or something. And uh, they work real well. They pull down, you know, they go up easy. And great privacy to make two different ones. Ones that let light through, one that block light a little bit. I did the ones that block light a little bit. And uh, so that's what they look like and so far I'm happy with them. I want to build some uh, boxes or shelves that will go up above them that will kind of uh, cover up the hardware. And uh, you reach in and pull down the blinds so we'll see how that turns out when I get to it. Really going to have to get my cabinet making skills down because that's going to be the big thing. And I have no clue at this point but watching a lot of videos. So the kitchen area there's the... Uh, the refrigerator and I'm going to use that as an ice cooler and when I'm at shore power I will uh, plug in and use it as a regular refrigerator but in our pop-up we had a uh, you just I would just use two frozen gallon jugs of uh, water I'd freeze them put them in the uh, pan in the refrigerator and they'd last for uh, three days so and it was great for produce and stuff like that and then a cooler I always like to keep the beverages so they're ice cold especially in the summer so I uh, ordered a three burner stove so it's gonna have a stove and then the sink and the sink I have a pull down with a soap dispenser so the pull down one hole and then a soap dispenser go on the other haven't quite figured out how I'm going to uh, configure above it because of space and heights and how far everything it's got to be 24 inches height from the uh, stove thinking about maybe putting in a small hood and uh, we'll go from there and then it'll wrap just a little bit and then hopefully in this area where the chair is I can put a couch that's kind of a sleeper I found a nice futon type that was pretty light it was only 60 pounds and a smaller one not world big and then the bed will be next to that and then in the back I'm gonna do a grill galley and I'm gonna make it so that there's a little space between that back shelves that's gonna be open and the bed so you can actually sit on the bed and work at the uh, counter there and uh, have a really nice view out the back but uh, that'll be a work in progress have to see how bugs screens all that because uh, I'm not a fan of getting a lot of bugs in the camper you know but uh, they do have all kinds of those magnetic screens and all kinds of cool stuff so it'll be fun to see what we can come up with but and I do appreciate any input any questions any comments uh, so there you have it. This is what plywood looks like stained and polyurethane. Only one coat. One more be uh, better. And a work in progress. Can't wait to wire it. Now I have to, my dilemma is I have to take this cargo trailer, take the refrigerator out, and use it to go get all the lumber, all the plywood and everything from Lowe's and uh, Home Depot at the same time. And then once I do that, I'll put all that in the garage and then I can uh, start working on everything. It's gonna be like Christmas here tomorrow with solar coming, batteries, all kinds of stuff. And I uh, can't wait to get this thing finished out, but there you have it, work in progress. We'll talk at you later. This is Bo, and I'll see, talk to you next time. See ya!